Well, I think this is a little bit more of a languid approach. It's more of a Zen-like approach to a shooting. It's not as narratively driven. So we were able to capture moments that are just simply real. They're, they're floating along, whereas Inglorious and Django and Kill Bill, there are always a lot of set pieces. And within this, it's, it's more characters and where they go. And we weren't trying to, I didn't try to overlight sequences or go in an operatic manner and ignore De Quinton. I think that what differentiates this film from his early work, because we clearly went operatic in Django with the blood. I mean, <coughs> And in here, we were much more straight, cover. Is and it hard to tone that down when you've been working like that for so long with him? Or do you just keep in mind exactly what the aesthetic is every day when you're going into it? I keep in mind the aesthetic, for sure. And we talked about it very much in, in the front, that we wanted also a retro look, not to actually draw a lot of attention to the visuals, but to hold and maintain a visual feel that was of the period. The colors were more saturated and, and less... Uh, obvious in terms of its camera motions.